what's happening people we are embarking on the final season of spartacus and i have to say i it's a bitter sweet moment because this is the final season and of course we will be moving on after this you guys said this is the best season of Spartacus and we've already witnessed three beautiful see um beautiful seasons of Spartacus. You know, good times. Good times. <laughs> you know, in times like these I like to reflect. We we're talking about just a great storytelling of this series and I can't wait to see what they will do in season three you guys said there's a lot of characters that's gonna pop up that is familiar but new surprising you know so let's go and watch season three war of the dam Spartacus um, this is a last stand situation, and, you know, I mean, it's the final season. I'm guessing they have an army. They should. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they can't go against Rome with, you know, the 50 people that was left after they killed Glaber. I mean, they must have an army by now. If that's, you know, time to build the army and time to go against Rome, right? So... Um, of course, I'm going to look at some history videos of, you know, people explaining Spartacus. So, I have a couple of them written down that you guys have already sent me and stuff like that. So, just let me know if you want and I will do those. Anyways, let's jump into these reactions and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so Spartacus season three, episode one. Very good episode, man. Very good episode. Very good opening to the season. Um, just showing off the the new enemies or the new, um, I would say the new quote unquote villain, because there's really no there's no heroes and villains in this story. It's really just a story of. You know what I'm saying? Slaves fighting for their freedom. Um, you know what I'm saying? And taking down the bigger boss. You know what I'm saying? So really, is Rome really the villain here? You know what I'm saying? They are in a, in a certain kind of way. You know what I'm saying? But they, they're killing each other. So, is you know what I'm saying? It's like slaves fighting for um, to not be oppressed. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like what, you know, if you want to compare to what happened here in America, you know, with the, the, the abolishment of slavery, um, you know, they had to fight. They had to fight first, you know, and they had to have somebody of like-mindedness who could pass laws to get it passed, i.e. Abraham Lincoln. You know, it's, as I said, I'm not looking at either side as um, a hero versus villain kind of story. Because at the root of it, maybe, yes. Um, you know, it's a heroes versus villain story, you know, at the root of it. But I think it goes far beyond that. I'm going to tell you guys why I believe it goes far beyond that. Because when you look at it, both sides are fighting for something. It's not necessarily that at this point, when you introduce a character like Crassus, right? When you introduce a, a, a character like that, it now 
the writing is going in a totally different direction and because everybody that he's gone up against has been assholes they've all been like yo buy a common slave right but cash is um crash is is coming in now with a different approach of things which w is problematic it it creates a problem because now there is no clear like i would say for season season one um season for season two there was a clear objective you get what i'm saying it was clear hero versus villain this time around not so much because crassus does not think of gladiators as slaves he doesn't think of them like that he honors them you know kind of reminds me of um what's his name Titus um you know what I'm saying kind of reminds me of Titus in in a certain sense he's a little bit more above the fray than Titus but it's the same way Titus used to think he never really thought of you know what I'm saying as as them as slave that's the reason why he puts up all these statues of all the gladiators that has fought for him you know what I'm saying and for Crassus to be in the same um vain as that i think he sits a little bit above that as i said but at the same time i think this season is going to be different based on this character i think now it's i can't think of crassus as a bad guy because he's doing honorable things he's never you, you, you get what i'm trying to say if he's been like this this whole time and this is the life that he lives is even trying to teach his son like listen your wealth and riches doesn't make you sit above people in general he even said listen he's not a slave he's a man okay he's a man that stand as equal as any one of us you get what i'm saying the minute you start to underestimate people that's when they're going to try to prove you wrong you get what I'm saying? See, Glaber fell, Batiatus fell, everybody that underestimated Spartacus. Where are they now? Even the very two that he just killed. Where are they now? So I think Crassus is gonna have a better um and I a better chance. But I want you guys to remember what he said to I think is what's his name? Hibiris, the guy he just fought against and killed, um, the gladiator. Um, what's his name? Now, what's his name? Um, remember what he said to him. Knowledge and patience, okay, is the only thing, right? Knowledge and patience is the only thing that can um counter a um counter greater skill which is so true it is so true you know what i'm saying which is so true and i think um i think patience is going to patience is going to be the big big thing about him going up against spartacus because they think alike you get what I'm saying? You think alike. He put those soldiers in the way so Spartacus could find them, find a letter, know about them two dudes and go take them out. That's how he played the game. He played the game so that they had no choice but to come to him now and say, you're a leader because he accepted it and say, basically was teaching his son Tiberius, said, listen, it's not all the time you got to fight not all the time you got to fight a decision. Sometimes you can go around that, do some backdoor stuff. You get what I'm saying? Do some backdoor things to get what you want. You don't always got to. Yes, people. What's the sense of me disagreeing? It's not like it's not like they're going to be like, OK, you know what I'm saying? It's not like they're going to be like, oh, he's throwing a tantrum. So I'm going to give him what he wants. You get what I'm saying? Of course, he could have used his is his wealth and power he could have used his wealth and power and say if i if i'm not the leader you're not getting these ten thousand men he could have done that 
But he went the other direction. He's like, look how I'm going to play this. And I want you to learn that it's not all the time you got to be all hoobaloo, hoobaloo. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was like, oh, they're common slaves. They're beneath us because they don't have as much money as us. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to play the game. So, I like that. That's what I said. I like this character, man. I like him. No doubt about it. And I'm looking forward to see more of this for the rest of the season. I haven't even checked how many episodes. I think it's 10 episodes again. But in any case, man, I'm ready. Final season. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment. And also, subscribe if you're new. There's more Spartacus to come. And then, I don't know what we're going to move on to after this season. But we'll see how things go. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I will catch you guys later. Peace.